I have now been drinking green thickies for the past eight years and there is not a reason on this earth that I can think of that I would want to stop drinking them apart from there has been a couple of times I have stopped drinking them and it, the results were not pretty. So during both of my pregnancies I really really struggled to drink green smoothies especially at the start for some reason my body repelled them I don't know why but you might have experienced the same yourself with your pregnancies because sometimes the body just does crazy things when you're pregnant and I tried my very best to stomach them and I felt like I was going to be sick and I just couldn't so during both my pregnancies I did not feel great I put on loads of weight and I I really wanted to drink them but I just couldn't for some reason I have no idea why so during the the second pregnancy I had really really um, struggled during my pregnancy I had a really hard pregnancy didn't feel good at all felt really depressed felt really exhausted I had no energy whatsoever and I thought after after I have the baby I'll get straight back to my my green thickies again I'll start drinking them again I'll get back to healthy eating and I'll feel good again but what actually happened after I gave birth is I I developed an infection in my in my tooth. When I was um, this this the reason why I had this infection was because when I was about eight years old, I was I was giving my friend a backy on my bike and I was flying down a really really steep steep hill, really really fast. And um, at the bottom, I I crashed, went over the handlebars of my bike. My face got scraped along the along the concrete along the floor. Um, scraped my my teeth, my gums, knocked my my teeth, shattered my my front teeth. <clears throat> they tried to to save my teeth, but they they uh, eventually they they tried putting things sticking things on, and they just kept falling off. So eventually, they just cut it off. They gave me root treatment to deaden the the root of the. It was it was, it was just one tooth at the time. They deadened the, the root and they put a crown on, a white crown. So I had that from when I was eight years old and um, after, I, after I gave birth, it, it got infected up there and the, uh, the dentist said it was, it was down to the trauma that had happened when I was eight years old and it, sometimes it, it takes that long for an infection to set in and because of the root treatment it makes it much more likely that you're going to get an infection. So I got an infection and I, I said to the, the dentist that I really I don't like having antibiotics, it make, they make me feel really, they always make me feel ill, I always struggle with my health after I've had a course of antibiotics, I would do anything to avoid them and, he, and it was just before Christmas this year and he said well we're not open during Christmas anyway so I would, I would want you to have a period of time anyway to see if your body can can fight off this infection naturally before we, we look into it a bit further. So I decided that I was going to try and do everything I possibly could to heal this infection myself naturally. So what I did was I did so much research and I had heard that if you if you cut out grains, sugar, refined sugar, sugar from fruit, like including fruit, all these things, like all processed food, all refined food, and you just eat a really clean diet. Like the type of diet I was eating was a paleo diet and it was, um, it was grain free, it was very natural food, very wholesome, healthy food. It was um, including egg, I ate lots of eggs, a little bit of meat, I don't really like meat, a little bit of meat, mainly eggs, I can't tolerate dairy anyway, no dairy, and vegetables and that was what the diet consisted of and I'd heard all these amazing things, you know, you'll get your, you'll feel good and you'll you know you'll um, you'll have so much energy on this kind of diet and it um, I did lose a bit of weight on it the weight I, I think it was just because I didn't I didn't really enjoy what I was eating I didn't like the taste of I don't like meat so I was kind of struggling I've got a sweet tooth and I couldn't eat anything sweet and over Christmas you know everybody's eating treats around me it was so hard but I I managed it I thought right I need to you know I need to heal this infection I'm determined I'm going to heal this infection so I stuck with it and I uh, went back to the dentist after after Christmas and he took an x-ray and he said unfortunately not only has the infection not gone but you've got a cyst you've got a cyst up there and um, usually it would be very painful but because the, the 
the root, the, the nerve is dead in the tooth, you can't feel it at all. But unfortunately we're going to have to take out your two, because it's spread across the front of your teeth, so we're going to have to take out two, two teeth. He said probably both of these teeth um, were, had this trauma and got hit when they got hit on the ground. So he took, took out both teeth and went through a process and got, got implants fitted eventually. But um, that was, uh, that was what, what happened to, to my teeth there. But what happened to my health because I was on this, I was on this diet and didn't have any fruit, didn't have any kind of uh, green smoothies, couldn't drink my green smoothies or my green thickies. I really, really missed them. And I just didn't feel good at all. I, I was, I think the chronic fatigue syndrome came back again and it came back full force and it was so hard. It was actually, it was even harder second time around because I had a toddler. My little girl was a toddler and I had my, my son who was a baby. So I had a toddler and a baby to look after with chronic fatigue syndrome and it was just horrendous. It was one of the worst things just trying to struggle through the day, will yourself on just to get up and do basic things to care for them and I, you know, it, it, was just, it was just horrendous, I had to put the TV on for them to watch the TV because I just didn't have any energy to entertain them and eventually they both went into full time childcare because I just couldn't look after them and that was heartbreaking for me because I wanted to be a stay at home mum I wanted to, to look after my, my baby boy. He, boy, he was nine months old and I didn't want him to be looked after full time by somebody else, like I wanted to, to stay with him. So that was, that was the hardest thing about this for me, was to watch, you know, watch, uh, you know, the nursery came to pick them up every day, which was really nice of them because I could barely move. Again, second time around with chronic fatigue syndrome. And I was still on this, this uh, diet of just eating kind of eggs and, and um, vegetables, I had a very clean diet and still did not, my chronic fatigue syndrome did not go. Despite that's what people tell you, if you cut out sugars, you cut out natural sugars, like even from fruit, then that's the best thing for your energy, it's the best thing for your health, but for me that didn't work. And when they went back to, uh, when they went to, to childcare, I would manage to, to look after myself and I managed to do some some research into what could be helping me to heal and I found some natural things that were helping me. I started using essential oils and the other thing I started doing was drinking my green thickies again because I had not been drinking my green thickies and I developed a whole new range of green thickies and some of them had edible um, essential oils in them to boost the nutrients even further and I just felt amazing. Within like a month I was back to my previous levels of energy before I got pregnant the second time and I just couldn't believe it. I was just over the moon that I got my health back again, my I reached my ideal weight again and I mean it was quite it was it ha I had lost a bit on the on the on the diet before that but I lost even more when I started drinking green thickies and it was just it was life changing for me because I thought now I can actually look after my kids. Like I just I couldn't bear the thought that as their mother I could not care for my own children. It was just the most heartbreaking thing in the world. And green thickies yet again was the thing that was missing from my life and that's the thing that saved my life again. And so that's been three times that I have not only reached my ideal weight, but I've recovered my health and felt amazing by drinking green thickies. And since that day I vowed that I would never ever stop drinking green thickies again and I, um, I don't want to have any more children now, <laughs> never say never but I really don't want any more children so I don't anticipate any problems with pregnancies or anything like that and I don't think there's going to be anything that's going to stop me drinking my green thickies now because they are honestly, they are what has been missing in my life. So um, I just want to say that to encourage you because you hear um, all the time about about fruit being really bad for you and it's got sugar in but but I think it's got so so many missing nutrients even things that are not there from vegetables you get from fruit and also leafy greens and in its raw state because the thing is how likely are you to to like chop up loads of fruit chop up loads of raw vegetables chop up loads of leafy greens and just sit there munching all this raw raw food every day and it's because it's because it's raw it's got all of the nutrients still intact so when it goes in the in the blender and you blend it up as a smoothie that's a raw 
um, it's food that's alive it's got all its nutrients still there and it, it does wonders for your body and if you're just like cooking your veggies the amount of nutrients that are lost because you've cooked your veggies is just crazy and it's just nothing on earth is like eating raw food raw food is amazing but it's hard to munch through all that food and that's why green smoothies and green thickies especially that taste like dessert and you just you really just want to drink them because they taste so delicious that is why this is like to me it's the best food on the planet like i just can't imagine anything that could ever come close as being as healthy as delicious as fast as convenient as it's just it's, it helps me lose weight everything that i need is wrapped up in this one green drink called the green thicky so if you want to find out exactly what i was eating during this time when i recovered my health again and lost the weight again then i have put all my meals into the leaf system which is my meal planning system and i want to encourage you because you can get started with the leaf system for free Right now, I'm giving you a whole month's worth of meal plans, including all of my bonuses and this month's current bonuses for free. So you can get started right now, right here, right now. So if you want to get started and have the same level of results, go to greenthickies.com forward slash leaf system and you can get started there free or you can click the link around this video and I can't wait to hear from you in the Facebook group. Just let me know what impact eating raw fruit, raw leafy greens, raw veggies has had like, in the package of something so delicious that you're just gonna love it. I just want to hear what an impact that's had on your life and your weight. So let me know in the Facebook group and I will see you in there. Take care, bye.